Ancient viruses played a key role in the evolution of our brains. Ancient viruses that infected vertebrates in the distant past may have played a key role in the evolution of our advanced brains. This conclusion was reached by a team of scientists investigating the origin of myelin, the insulating layer that forms around nerves and enables faster conduction of electrical impulses. We owe the myelin sheath to ancient viruses, argue scientists from Altos Labs, Cambridge Institute of Science. A recent study published in the journal Cell found that an ancient viral infection may have provided vertebrates with myelin. Myelin is a complex fatty tissue that covers the axons of vertebrate nerves. It allows electrical impulses to be conducted quickly without the need to increase the diameter of axons which means nerves can be densely packed close together. It also provides metabolic support to the nerves, allowing them to last longer. Retroviruses were needed to start the evolution of vertebrates, says neuroscientist Robin Franklin from Altos Labs, Cambridge Institute of Science, one of the authors of the publication. If we didn't have retroviruses inserting their sequences into the vertebrate genome, myelination would not take place, and without myelination, the entire diversity of vertebrates as we know it would never exist, he adds. The emergence of the myelin sheath is crucial in the evolution of vertebrates. Myelin first appeared on the Tree of Life around the same time as Jaws, about 360 million years ago during the Devonian period. But until now it was unclear what molecular mechanisms led to its development. Scientists were led to the trail by oligodendrocytes, glial cells that produce the myelin sheath. Scientists have found that a genetic element from the retrovirus, called the retrotransposon, is necessary for the production of myelin in mammals, amphibians and fish. The gene sequence which researchers have named retromyelin, is likely the result of an ancient viral infection. Retrotransposons constitute about 40% our genomes, but nothing is known about how they could have helped organisms acquire specific features during evolution, says Tane Ghosh from Altos Labs, Cambridge Institute of Science. The first author of the publication. Our motivation was to determine how these molecules support evolutionary processes, especially in the context of myelination, he adds. Transposons are called jumping genes or wandering genes. These are DNA sequences that are able to move around the genome or move to a different position in the genome of the same cell, leading to changes in the way genes are used. Although not all of them are active, they are seen as raw materials for evolutionary processes. They are very diverse. Some work by cutting themselves out of the DNA and pasting themselves into a precisely selected location in the genome. This is an operation that is similar to the cut and paste commands, Ctrl plus X and Ctrl plus V, in a text editor. By comparing retromyelin in mammals, amphibians and fish, 
The researchers saw that retroviral infection and genome changes occurred separately in each of these groups. They found that in rodents, retromyelin regulates the expression of basic protein, one of the key components of myelin. When they inhibited retromyelin in oligodendrocytes and oligodendrocyte progenitor cells in experiments, these cells were no longer able to produce basic myelin protein. In the next step, the researchers checked whether retromyelin also occurs in other vertebrate species. They identified analogous sequences in all jawed phyla, i.e. birds, fish, reptiles and amphibians, but did not find similar sequences in jawless vertebrates or invertebrates. There has been an evolutionary desire to speed up the conduction of impulses in our axons, because faster conduction of impulses means we can act faster, catch prey faster or escape from a predator, Franklin says. The researchers constructed a phylogenetic tree of 22 jawed species and compared their retromyelin sequences. The analysis showed that these sequences were more similar within than between species, suggesting that retromyelin was acquired multiple times through a process of convergent evolution. Researchers have also shown that retromyelin plays a functional role in myelination in fish and amphibians. When they experimentally blocked the retromyelin sequence in fertilized zebrafish and frog eggs, they found that the developing fish and tadpoles produced much less myelin than usual. The study highlights the importance of non-coding regions of the genome for physiology and evolution, the researchers say. Our findings open a new direction for examining how retroviruses are involved in directing evolution, Ghosh says.